it's Jilly and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the ever fun multi-layered cooler. So today we're going to be taking a look at this amazing cooler by ever fun. So I got this the basic black colored square cooler but they do come in different colors and also in different styles. One of the styles that I found really cool was they have a cooler backpack. Like, I haven't seen that before. I really want that one now, but I saw the cooler backpack and I also got this one. So, we're going to be taking a look at the basic square multi-leveled cooler today. So, let's take a look at the features of this cooler. So, first on the outside, this is a waterproof cooler. So, all of the fabric on the outside is waterproof. Also, it keeps everything insulated for up to 20 hours. And it has strong straps, so no matter the weight that you have in here, which by the way, it can hold up to 24 cans, like soda cans, like that's heavy. It won't tear or rip, so they're really strong handles. You have one on the top, and you also have one that you can like put around your body and hold like this, just in case your hands are full. And then it also, as I said before, it has waterproof packaging. So now let's go a little more in depth to the inside of the cooler. So let's first start with the top layer. So we have a top layer up here, which is a shallow layer that you can lay your sandwiches, your chip bags, your like little tiny snacks, like things like that up here that don't necessarily need to be sitting in ice, but you still want to be insulated and kept cool. I like this because personally, I don't want to put like my sandwiches with my waters and stuff so it doesn't get all soggy or like anything like that. So it keeps it nice and separated. It keeps it nice and organized. Okay, now we're going to be taking a look at our larger bottom compartment. So as I said, this is a multi-layered cooler and our bottom compartment can hold 15 liters or 24 soda cans. Also, they suggest having about six pounds of ice. So these straps are definitely very durable if you're going to be having that weight inside of your cooler. So on the inside, it is a softer, deeper, um, just inside of the cooler, which as I said, keeps it insulated for 20 hours. And also, this is a collapsible cooler, so it can be folded and stored however you would like. So if you are done at the beach, done at the pool, done wherever you are wanting to take your cooler, it is foldable, so you could just fold it up and put it anywhere. So there's also some outside features to this cooler. So on the outside, we have these little pouches on the side, which you could use to basically put anything in there. Like if you have any portable chargers, if you have your phone, literally anything that you want to put on the outside. Because as I said, it is waterproof, so nothing will leak through, it won't get anything wet, uh, nor will, you know, anything get on the inside, as I said. Then, we have the front pouch. This is a, this are a lot of pouches for a cooler. So the front pouch here, this one it does not have like the insulation as I said like with the top and the bottom, but it is a pouch in the front of the bag which is very helpful so you can keep track of your valuables like your phones, like your keys, anything like that that you don't want to get sandy or lost. It's a good place to put in front of your cooler. I will be linking this cooler in the description down below and they also from Amazon have a shop on there so you guys can look at the other items that they have such as the backpack that I mentioned earlier which that is super cool to me. I do not own one myself but I may go and buy myself one after this video because that just looks super cool to me like having your cooler on your back. But without further ado we are going to get some items and we're just going to try to pack our cooler and just see how it holds. Okay guys, so I went and grabbed some things from my fridge and we are going to be putting them inside the cooler. Now, just take a note that I'm not going to be maxing out this cooler to its full capacity today because uh, I'm not prepared to go to the beach or anything. So <laughs> I don't want to take everything out and max this thing out. I want to wait to see its full potential. But I did grab some things so we could take a look at how this all stores. So first we're going to start with our bigger bottom compartment and I grabbed the first two waters which only takes up half of the bottom like this way which is pretty good. It's a good thing for water. Then I also got myself a Celsius, one ginger ale, and a second ginger ale. And that literally only took up that much. 
like, that's not even half of the cooler. If I really wanted to, I can probably fit triple of this. That's really impressive for a cooler. Um, <laughs> so this is actually really impressive because we usually bring a big, big cooler and it's really heavy and really bulky and it doesn't fit that much. But I feel like it definitely could fit way more in this nice packed cooler than that. And I like that because it has multiple ways that you can carry it. It's really insulated. So I don't know, I'll have to test this out next time I go to the beach. I'm very, very intrigued on how this is going to go. They also have the Velcro straps here, which I forgot to mention. The Velcro straps are used for when you want to pack it down and fold it. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the top and seeing what I could put in the top. The top, as I said, the top is a little bit shallower, so it's just for basic items like um, sandwiches, for like if you put chips in baggies, or like any kind of snacks, snacks like that, like cheese sticks, like just basic things like that. So I do have some empty sandwich containers, which in this case would be full. Um, so I'm going to put those in there. I'm just going to slide them in. And then I also have raspberries which i will also be sliding in there okay guys so that is it for the ever fun cooler i will be linking the amazon link in the description down below which does list the information that i just said about the cooling the dual compartments the collapsible design and the leak and waterproof it also will tell you about the wider compartments the bottom compartments it'll give you the lengths and the widths and it'll just give you some more information about the cooler so you guys can go check it out yourself i will also be linking the everfun store so you guys can go check them out thank you guys so much for watching today's video as i said i will be linking them in the description down below so you could take a little more look into the everfun store and i'll see all of you guys in the next one bye